We have our women there. Their status is, I mean, I would say it's not so good. Those who are able to produce black market for their products and financial support. Most of them would like to expand, to grow, but they don't have the capacity because most times they just borrow from banks and they are not able to sustain their businesses because of financial support and also market for their products. We have women who are working on these craft things. They are quite a number, but they don't have markets for that. We have women who are making porridge from different pumpkins, what, what, porridge for babies, but they don't have markets. Then the skills. Women groups I know of that are involved in production, for instance, of soap, but they are doing this on a very small scale. They need, they do not have, um, you know, the, the machines eh, that they can use to produce one quality, to make quality products, eh, but also pro be able to produce in the bulky. Because, you know, um, the more volumes you produce, eh, the higher the profit. This time around, we have enlisted the participation of over 250 exhibitors. Some of these exhibitors that are coming are looking for distributors in Jinja and in the Busoga region. They, some of them are also looking for franchisees. So it's not just an, uh, a question of them exhibiting their goods and services. This uh, Katale season three is coming with uh, packed with uh, uh, business opportunities.